Problem number six. So problem number six says an object moves in a straight line, so its position of B after T seconds is given by this formula. So S of T equals 2T squared plus third. Find a formula for the average velocity of the object on the interval from 1 to 1 plus h in the instantaneous velocity after one second. So let's do the first part first, the average velocity. Ooh, I spelled that wrong. So to find average velocity, I'm going to use this formula. going to be A, and this is going to be B. So all I'm going to do is plug these two coordinates into that equation. So I'm going to have S of 1 plus H minus S of 1 over 1 plus H minus 1. Okay. So when I plug those in, I plug them in for T, I get 2 times 1 plus H squared plus 3 minus, and when I plug 1 into here, all right, now I have 2 times 1 squared plus 3, all over 1 plus h minus 1. So for this, I'm going to FOIL out, so I have 1 times 1 plus 2h plus h squared plus 3, and now this is going to be the minus is to this whole equation. So it's going to be minus 2, minus 3. Down here, my 1's cancel, and I'm just left with h. So all I have to do is further simplify this. I'm going to distribute the 2 here. So this is going to equal 2 plus 4h plus 2h squared. Now from here, I can see that my 3's cancel. So I'm all left with is minus 2 over h. And now from here, my 2's are going to cancel, so I'm left with 4h plus 2h squared over h. Now they already told me in the problem that h cannot equal 0. So because of this, I can factor out an h. And cancel it with the bottom h. So I'm all I'm left with is 4 plus 2h. And that would be the equation for your average velocity. Now the second part is I want you to find the instantaneous velocity after one second. A very common mistake would just be to plug in 1 into this equation. So if I were to plug in 1 for h, I'd get 6. And of course 6 is an answer choice, but that's not the one you want to pick. So instead, remember instantaneous velocity, I want to find the limit as h goes to 0 at one second. Okay, so we're going to find the limit as h goes to 0 of the average velocity from 1 plus h to 1. So in the original, if they gave you, say, 2 plus h, 2 to 2 plus h, whenever you got your average velocity equation, that would be correct. But then if they said, find the instantaneous velocity after 1 second, you'd have to do all this over again and do it from 1 plus h to 1. But because they already gave us 1 plus h to 1, they made it a little easier on us. So we have our equation. So I'm going to do the 4 plus 2h. So we see as h goes to 0, all I'm left with is 4. Okay? So for your answer, your average is going to be 4 plus to h and your instantaneous is going to be 4. And this is answer choice C. Just remember that you can't just plug in one second. Also remember you can just borrow the average velocity equation you made when it asks for instantaneous unless it did not give you the correct interval. So I need the limit here. This should be from S of 1 plus H minus S of 1 
over 1 plus h minus 1. Okay? And then that is problem number 6.